It's a refreshing snack for hot summer days. Welcome, Ala Yekimiv. Yes. Oh, I did it. How about you that? Did it. She's in the macaron tea room, and that's making a cucumber sandwiches for folks and a whole bunch of great teas. I experienced tea when I was in uh, London and Great Britain, That's and fun. it is a, a giant celebration in the afternoon, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you get full. Yeah. Some people think they don't, they need to come no. and eat before. You don't. You get full. Come hungry. And you get some funny little stuff that I never had before when I was there, and my favorite was the little cucumber sandwiches. So how do you make those? Those are the most popular. We did it a little different than traditional just to stand out and make it mm -hmm. better. So we do it on two separate breads. So we have a white bread and a whole wheat bread. Uh -huh. um, Cream cheese, I always recommend get the spreadable one that's whipped. Yeah. Add some chives to it. Do salt and pepper after yeah. it's all done. So it sounds like such a simple little thing, but it's really so good. Yep, so we start with putting some cream cheese and chives on one slice of the bread. Don't put it on too thick because it's going to slide all over the place when mm -hmm. you're eating it. So we'll put it here. What's the name of your tea room? The Macaron Tea Room. The Macaron Tea Room. Yes, so we're that. located in Broadview Heights at the corner of 82 and Broadview Road. So now we're putting some cucumbers. The best way to slice these is with like a mandolin. It gets the perfect texture, yeah. nice and thin. So, so cucumber so sandwich. Are you a cook or an artist? A little bit of both. There you go. A little bit of both. So we put the cucumbers, you layered them nice. I think this is sort of fun. It is fun and it's kind of like artwork at the same time. So now you're going to put your cream cheese on this side. spread on this side. You want to, don't forget this part. So, all right. And you put it over like that. So that holds it so when you're eating it, it's not all over the place. Now another thing we do, only because I like it better this way and it looks pretty, is we put the cream cheese and cucumbers on top as well. So you that is nice. Spread it all out. We've got this beautiful tray of the items that you've made over so here. So that is our high tea, and that's our most popular one. And like I said, come this is hungry. what I was talking about, like when I was when I went to to London. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. We're layering it, make it look pretty for your tea party. That is nice. And one more. As pretty as that is, I have to ask you about these. What, what are these slimy things happening? What's going on over here with so this? So the slimy things there, that's edible slime that I was kind of experimenting with. When my daughter turned 15, she's into slime. That's the whole, whole thing. So I made a cake with her for her 15th birthday. And okay. my goal was to get edible slime. Um, and I made it. So that's macarons with edible slime. So is this for adults or for kids? Whoever likes Yummy stuff. That so it's definitely okay to eat for both adults and kids. Can I invite Julia in uh, because she's sort of a, a, the slime master, she right? Is you a got, slime you got a big master. slime she's event. Come slime. on, come on over here. Yeah, get over here. Come on. <laughs> you know what? I'll pour I'll pour you a cup of tea. So you're Julia, right? <laughs> yes. So how do you get involved in this? Um, I actually found it on Pinterest. Pinterest? Yeah. Yeah. And let's see. Am I, is that top going to fall off the tea if I go farther over? It shouldn't. Okay. I did it right. So what do you know about slime that you brought to this event? When is this event and what's going on with the slime? Um, so it's August 10th and it's at Pazzo's Grand Ballroom. Uh, there's around 30 different uh, slime vendors. There's going to be macaroons, fresh squeezed lemonade, and then some vendors for adults too. So this is at Pazzo's Grand Ballroom. So that's a different location. It's August 10th from 10 till 5 and going to be a lot of fun there. And what, what are the age groups that, that, that should attend this event? Um, I mean, there's going to be vendors for adults too, so the parents will have something to do. But the kids, um, I would probably say 10 to, there's even adults that do it too, but 18. That's excellent. Here, would you hold this for me? And if you want to start singing or something, just go ahead. You can do, <laughs> do like, you know, share or something like that. Just, just go for it. But I want to get back to you over here because we're talking about back to the tea house. Back to the tea we're house. We're at Broadview and Route 82. Yes, So yes. it's easy to find. Very and, and what are the hours so people can go out there for high tea? What's the best time to come for high tea and what should we do? So we're, we're different than, we have this question all the time. It's very common. We're different than the other tea rooms. You do not have to be, have a reservation to order high tea. You can come in and order off the menu just and show eat what up. you like. Just show up. Reservations are definitely highly recommended just so that you can have a table and make sure you are seated where you want to be seated and don't have to wait. So we always say call, make a reservation, but you don't have to reserve what you're ordering, the time of reservation. You just decide when you come in. Just show up and check it out. There's the uh, website right there. When I drink the tea out of the cup, do I have to hold the saucer underneath it or no? No, but with that said, we do teach etiquette classes. So if uh -oh. you come in I'm wrong and already. learn, did you know there's no pinkies up? 
There's no pinkies up. Well, let me get my pinky down <laughs> and let you know that there's more New Day Cleveland coming up right after the break.